Hi everybody, Ruben here with my Unit 7 Forum Response on the Application of Nutrition Principles. It says to identify practical strategies that you currently use for your team, class, client, or self and include a specific food, drink, or supplement that you use to enhance uh, this area of nutrition. Uh, the most practical strategy that I use is basically for fluid intake um, by providing my players with water for every practice and game because uh, the soccer field that we're on is basically way on one side of the campus where we don't have any water faucets out there um, and when I used to have the players bring their own water uh, that was always an issue so I took it upon myself to buy a bunch of um, five gallon and three gallon um, jugs of water that I refill basically weekly and keep in our soccer shed and then obviously we have the Gatorade bottles where we have plenty of them um, so to make sure they're they have plenty of fluids otherwise a lot of them don't bring their own water so that that was always an issue I'm constantly reminding them to drink plenty of water the night before games and the day of games and also eating plenty of carbs um, like pasta and vegetables and fruits, even pizza if they need to, but um, I always tell them not to eat greasy food or fried food. Um, I'm always sending them like uh, text messages, like a mass text to the whole team to remind them to, to drink plenty of water that night until they're basically peeing clear or close to clear um, urine. Uh, for the most part, it sounds like they do that. Um, on tournament days or weekend games, I always um, I'll go to Costco or somewhere and get plenty of uh, Gatorade and or Powerades, and I always buy a bunch of bananas, um, like Nature Blend granola bars because they have plenty of carbs. Um, and if it's a morning game, I'll usually also buy the muffins that they have at Costco because a lot of my players show up. They haven't even eaten anything, and we're going to a tournament where we're probably going to play two games usually, and the guys are don't have the fuel. They don't fuel their body for the for a long day, so I take it upon myself to do that. And I don't do it for every game because it does get expensive, but um, I also tell my players to to basically use peer pressure and look out for each other, and make sure. The guys are drinking, not drinking sodas and stuff that's unhealthy if they're around the guys. So that helps a little bit. At the beginning of the year, I usually have a parent meeting where I also have uh, reminders and basically putting pressure on the parents and putting a little responsibility on them to make sure their kids are eating healthy and getting plenty of fluids and going to sleep early, getting plenty of rest, uh, and taking care of their injuries types, type of stuff, but basically making sure that they're not feeding them a bunch of junk, um, which is easy for them to do. Uh, what else? Oh, the other thing I learned about the chocolate milk. Um, I told, actually this year, told them all to go buy like a gallon of chocolate milk to, um, put it in their fridge so after practice to drink a glass of that and help them um and it sounds like quite a few of them did that um i think just sending the text messages constantly these guys are always on their phones and stuff so that always helps and um uh, i think that's about it um uh, can't wait to hear your guys videos thanks